Samtastic here. Today I am bringing you a little bit of geek how-to. I was having an issue with the fan on my laptop where it was making a lot of noise and so I put a little bit of WD-40 on it. The WD-40 ended up turning to gook and it caused the fan to freeze up and everything started overheating. Uh, so I've already cleaned that off but it's still making a lot of noise and I'm going to try to address that issue once and for all. Now remember the first thing that um, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that if you follow any of the stuff that I'm doing here and manage to damage uh, any of your own electronics, it's not my fault. Um, I learn through experience. I, I don't have any official training or, or any of that. I just know what I'm doing because I've done it a lot and, uh, and I, I like the internet and I read stuff. So um, this is my battery which I removed from my laptop as well as unplugging it before before doing all this so that I don't end up frying something out accidentally like disconnecting the battery in your car before you start working on it uh, so what I have going on here is I am taking off the heat sink and fan from this part of the board here um, and there's the little fan enclosed inside the heat sink Normally, what I would recommend if you're if you are for whatever reason taking the fan out of your computer, um, removing the heatsink, is to just get some of the the thermal compound, like the silver paste stuff that's basically silver particles suspended in silicone fluid, um, and uh, put it on your processor, and if you have one, integrated graphics processor. So just clean off whatever's there. It's probably going to be old and dried out by the time you ever get around to this and put a new little bead on there just so it's got fresh stuff and it'll get that heat off of the processor better. Um, yes, so the next thing that I need to do is remove the fan from here. It's got three little screws on there, which are here, here, and right there. So I just need to take those screws out and uh, and not lose them because they're very 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 tiny it's easy enough to do that I am actually really lucky with my computer because I've worked with a number of them where it's really not very easy to get to the, the heatsink and fan assembly at all um, one of my friends had an HP laptop that is uh, it's it's got the heatsink on the other side of the motherboard so I actually had to take the whole thing apart pull out the keyboard and and I think remove the, I had to take the screen off of the hinges um, and lift it, like unscrew, completely unscrew and lift up the motherboard in order to get to the heat sink that was on there. It was a, it was a really, really dumb design. Um, you need to get to these things if your computer starts overheating. 90% of the time your computer is overheating because it needs new thermal paste or it's too dusty inside. Uh, both of those things can be fixed in many laptops by cleaning out this component and putting new paste on there. So I'm lucky I got a laptop that doesn't make it hard for me. And this fan is not like many others that I've had to work with. It, it, it will actually come off of here. If yours doesn't, um, don't, try to, don't try to force it because a lot of them actually have a motor attached to the fan. This one uses, if you can kind of see it, yay blur uh, we've got an electromagnet on there and there's a little magnetic ring around this fan that uh, it just runs an electrical current through there makes it spin so there's not a whole lot in the way of moving parts um, and uh, and so I don't understand what's going on with it where it's like slipping off track and making so much noise but uh, I'm going to use this ooh, this little spill that I had here this is graphite oil, uh, which was recommended to me for this task. So I'm going to give that a try. I have high hopes for it. And, uh, and I'm going to kind of apply it liberally here. Just a little bead on there. And I'm probably going to clean that up a little bit. And go ahead and just drop a bead right in the center of this as well. I don't want to gush it. Alright. And so this is supposed to be a really good lubricant that's not going to break down 
quite as easily as something like WD-40. And uh, so I'm hoping it's gonna it's gonna keep the noise low and keep the fan running great. So I'm just gonna use a Q-tip here to get the excess out from the inside there. Not not a whole lot. So just just so I can have. Uh, that, I don't know, maybe I'll use this and spread it around on the outside of this so where it's been scraping on the plastic it'll it'll drag a little bit more smoothly. And, uh, and so that's the graphite oil and I have no idea how well this is going to work right here but I have high hopes and uh, seems pretty quiet, seems to be spinning really well. So uh, let's get this put back together, and I will get things powered back on, and we'll we'll see how this worked out. This is the part where I suddenly realize I have nothing to talk about, and I also managed to misplace my screwdriver that I need for these teeny tiny little screws somewhere. Is it on the floor? No? I know I have it in here. Here's one of them, and I need the other one. It was back there. So, here we go. Just got to get these three screws back in carefully, trying not to drop any of them anywhere. And, uh, honestly, I do not have any idea how much that graphite oil costs. It was an old tube that my dad had chilling in the garage. Um, He'd be the one that recommended it to me. And, uh, so, I don't know. But if this works, then it's probably worth the price. One of the reasons that I'm doing this is because I cannot find this replacement part anywhere. Um, I've spent a lot of time looking around online, and uh, I've contacted Gateway, and they don't have the part for me. I contacted some third party something or other that they go through, they don't have the part. I, I did get the part number, um, I found a couple references to it, but I'm not able to actually find anyone that sells it. So this is, now you get to watch the top of my head. I'm just carefully setting this back on there, I'm trying to make sure I don't drag the screws on top of the, the motherboard anywhere, because that's never a good thing. And then I will screw all of this back down making sure that when I'm doing the processor that I pay attention to the, the numbers on there, the cross. It's like, um, like putting the tire on your car. You start at 1, go to 2, and then move on to 3, and then 4. And then just make sure they're all tightened down there. That. Uh, because if it's, if it's not tight, then it's not going to draw the heat off of the processor and you're going to have your computer overheat. And that's never good because it, it really sucks to have your computer overheat. And uh, so that's that. Get the little wire in there. Take this little piece of plastic. And for reference, for any of those wondering at this point, uh, I'm going to put it in the description, but this is a Gateway 2620, sorry, M2626U laptop. I got it refurbished from Tiger Direct a few years back, and uh, it's been staying with me pretty well, except for that stick of RAM that I mentioned previously that it had burned out that I'm going to replace. But I'm going to replace it with faster RAM because I believe this laptop supports better than what shipped with it, the PC6400 instead of the 5300. And Batteries back in, we're turning it on. Oh god, that did not work.
Okay, while well, everyone was was thinking that I'm a total hack and I have no idea what I'm doing, in all the excitement I managed to not actually plug the cable in very, very well, so it obviously the it's going to have a fan failure because there was no fan hooked up. And, uh, and so let's get this back on here and I will turn it on again and we should see success, quiet, quiet success. Sounds pretty quiet. Yeah, yeah, I think that did the trick. So there you go. That's a how to, how to um, make your computer fan stop making so much noise if it's if it's the same sort of fan, I guess. And so, yeah, don't break your stuff. Um, I hope you learned something valuable, <laughs> and you will see me later.